Let's Okay, so we read the first half of this page. Um, uh, it was about there. So the main character went to go wash himself. So, and he ran back downstairs. So now it is Neburi ga Nazui Ano there. Itsuni Swata Swate Muffin ni Teo Nobashta. E. Um, Nazuita Neburi E. Unazuita shake his head, right? Yes, shake his head. Specifically, do you think it's a left and right shaking or an up and down shaking? Uh, left and right. Sadly, no. That'd be kubio furu. Um, over here, it's it's actually up and down. It's a nod. A nod. So he nodded, and because he nodded, me to what. So in here, uh, the the subject is now I. Just so you know, we change subjects between these two clauses. Nobody nodded, and I isuni suwatte muffin ni te o nobashita. Isu is the chair. Hi. The muffin that's um. Te o no. Nobata te o. If I use my hand, I raise it up. Nobashita. Close. Nobasa is to stretch. So I reach toward what? I reach I my reach hand. My hand towards the muffin I... that was sitting. Mm, I think I was sitting. Isuni suwate. Suwata. So I oh. sat in the chair and then I stretch my hand toward the muffin. As you can see, this suwatte ends in te form. It's not suwatta muffin. It's not short form. So it's not describing muffin. I, it's a separate action. I, I, so I sat and I reach Orega asa meshi o taberu no o neburi wa nite iru yo datta. It seems as though uh, neburi was looking. Orega mm. meshi meshi asa meshi o taberu no o. Um, seems as though nobody was looking at me eating the, the breakfast. I, it looked like nobody was looking at me eating breakfast. Ga, however, gen, isen, isen wa, kochini, mukai, te. いるが。頭で。頭では。可能。ことを。考えているらしい。the gay. The season. season. The gaze Hi. is kochini is towards me. Hi. With the iru ga. It's his gaze turned towards me. However, ata atama de wa oka no koto o angaete iru rashi. The the head. 
くまでは、他のことを、そうです、他のこと。他の他、Uh, no, it's used to describe other things. For example, hoka no hito I mean other people. And then it's describing koto, which is things, right? Hoka no koto. So other things. Atama de wa hoka no koto o kangaete iru rashi. It seems like he was thinking about something else. Right. With his mind, with his atama. In his mind, hi. In his mind. Atama de wa. Atama de wa. Ako. Koka no koto o kanga ete iru rashi. And rashi here is it's, um, perhaps. Rashi feels more like probably than perhaps. Uh, but they're basically the same, I guess. Probably he was thinking in his mind about something else. Right. His his eyes turn, his gaze turned towards me. However, right. in his mind, he was probably thinking about something else. Right. So it looked like Nevery was looking at me eating breakfast. However, even though his gaze was facing me, within his head, he would it seems like he was thinking something else about other things. Right. Ma. いいけど。おとみ、おとみるにパーターを入れて食べた。まあ、いつオッケー。別にいつ、いつオッケー、アイドウェイ。うん、いいけど、いつ、いつオッケー。アイドウェイ、いつオッケー。うん、オートミール。
Perfect. No, it's not Naka. No, it is Naka. It is Naka. It is Naka Su naka rather than Chusu. Very confusing, this kanji. Naka Su. Hi. So, a Naka Su. It's an inlet, right? It's an, a piece of land in the middle. Of the river. Basically, so it's not an island. It's specifically these sand banks type of things that are in the middle of the river. So, like, I guess it's like islands in the middle of the river, but they're normally not like a full on island, but they can be. So, like, this is the, this right here, for example, this is the world's biggest Nakasu. Uh, there's one tree on here. <laughs> not. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Wait, so it has to be on a river in order for it to be a nakasu. Yes, a nakasu is basically a landmass in a river. So it's not an island, it's a river island, I guess. Nakasu. Um, these are sometimes called sandbanks, but sandbanks insinuate mm -hmm. that sometimes the water will cover the item. Uh, in the book, the item's not covered, so I guess it doesn't have to be... Um, depending on the flow of the tides. But yeah, this is a Nakasu River Island. Um, do you remember how to read this word right here? This is the mansion. Te shiki. Good guess. It does start with te. This last part right here shows up in a word when you talk about one's house, which is an insult toward a certain, like, like the Japanese version of the word weeb. Daku. Hi, hi, hey, Taku. Taku. From old Taku. Hi, from old Taku. Which used to be a polite way to say your house, but they're saying like they're. <laughs> Comes in. Now insult. it's an insult, right? Insult. Just like now omae. Insult. Also now an insult. Now it's an old Taku. Yep, don't use that unless mm. you want to insult someone. Um. So this word started with Naka, was our river islands. What did it end with? Nakasu. Hi, hi. Can you read this example sentence for me? Kawa no nakasu ni atsu he oku wa yatsuta. Hi. So yeah. even though we say o taku, this o here is a politeness marker. It's not actually part of the word, just like omae. The O here is a politeness marker. And these today both are now rude, no longer being polite, but they used to be like polite ways of saying it. So this isn't O taku, this is te taku. Te oku, te, te, taku. te taku. Te taku wa yatsutagi, 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 te da. It is ah. the the mansion that is that stand in the sand bank of the river that mansion is the quiet building or the quiet I mansion have, yep Yusatagi. the mansion standing was built yes. on the river island and the river is yasuragite uh this is definitely spelled wrong because it should be da but uh but it had a ta there yes, 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 um, you like you read it right, and then you look at the word, and then you read it as it was written because it's so. <laughs> oh, so, a hundred points for you for reading that. <laughs> um, do you know how to read this kanji? It's definitely on the tip of your tongue. Cause you're right; it does start with an S sound. Shu. Shu yeah, shu. it is su. Shu. Sumanakunata. Becoming not living there. Perfect. Residing. Residing no longer. Reside. Perfect. So this Residing word is no related longer. to that previous word, but it's now a noun, which means dwelling. Or basically like house. Sumai. Sumai. Hi, sumai. Perfect. I'm going to skip that. You knew that last time. Our next word is the one that really commonly shows up in beginner textbooks, which is rusu, Wait. which is when someone's not in the house. No one's house sitting. Rusu. Hi. Funny, the previous bold word that was for flowing into, was it? Na nage? Yep. Nage. Nagare komu. Nagare. 
blow into. Or whatever. Forget. Yeah. Felt like you had those good. Um. So right now we have a new grand part, which is toyu mono. Toyu mono is used to refer to a period of time. So normally you have some kind of time phrase with toyu mono. For example, can you read this sentence up over here for me? Hi. I would assume this is actually read as nen. Ni nen. Toshi is weirdly enough not read that often. I rarely ever see the word toshi. Uh, so this means over the past two years, it has become busy. Toyumono. How would you say over the past 20 years, it has become empty? And uh, you don't click blocks. So we're just going to be making it up on top of your head. But yeah, there's vocabulary words you could pick from down there. All right. So um, over the past 20 years. And by empty, I'm talking about this. The house has been empty. The house has been empty. So kono, kono nichu. この二十年こういうものえ、become think it's suru shiteita shiteru. It has been it has empty. So rushu shita. Stop. Shita is definitely possible. For here, it actually is using um teita. It has Shite. been doing the empty. Shita would just mean it was empty. So that is still like basically grammatical, but you can see how see how like it was empty and it has been empty are basically the same sentence but slightly different aesthetics. So it's still grammatical, mm -hmm. the two versions. Uh but the difference is the has been is I would say the shiteta versus it is it was empty. Right. Uh, so it's continuously empty from the past into the present. Yes. That whole time. That whole twenty years has had been whole empty. Twenty un years. Uninterrupted. Exactly. That's that's As what it feels like. Just we say, oh, it's it was empty. empty for twenty years. Yes. The it's with the past, over the past two years, the little bit odd probably used the shita. Just because it's the we're giving a quantity of time for it to be occurring. Um, but if you didn't have the time quantifier, then you wouldn't have to do. Um, do you have to know what chuo means? In the center of things. Yes, center. Perfect. And I just assumed you'd know how to read that guy. So let's go read this example sentence. Wetumeto no chuo o nage nagareru kawa. Right. So we got a relative class. Nagareru. Nagare. Nagareru. Nagare kawa. So the river that flows. Um that flows towards the middle of Wermet. Hi. Or flows so, at the middle of Wermet. At the middle, correct. Because if it was towards, then we'd actually have like me rather than like O. So the O is helping us know it's like a direction, like not really a direction, but like kind of, it means you're doing the action like over it, kind of. So we have a Wermetto and the river goes through the middle. Specifically, this river uh, looks a little bit like that. It is a very, um, soon this is going to like make a little island right there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what the river looks like. But it's going through the middle of the Wurumeto. It looks uh, a lot like. You see? The way that river flows looks. I think most capital city have that river comes to a big bend like that and it comes out. I know 
the river that flows through Prague was a lot like that. Mm -hmm. Moscow, I think, was the same too. It had this big semicircle and then it straightened out again. Yeah, I think that's like weirdly common. Theoretically, when time goes on, you should like combine until it's like straight and this guy would go bye bye. That's uh what the river oh. theoretically it should be doing that. I don't know, like when you make a city around it, if that affects it anyway, but like I remember learning that in biology class. That uh oh. the river gets a bend and the bend gets bigger and bigger until this hits and that part gets abandoned. I see. That is interesting. Uh, anyway, how do you think you read this word for center? Is all. Hi, hi, hi. Two to all center. and all. Perfect. So right now we have nobody talking. What does nobody say? Nobody, he said. Yatsura ni te wa wermeto no chu o o nagareru awa no chu nakasu ni tatsu te haku de washi no tsumai da. So in this case, this de is de the and de. Uh, it's te form for nouns. We don't see that very often, but that, that's that's what that would be. Hi. And so, kono niju, kono niju men to, to yu mono no rusu ni ite ita ga na ga na kind of like daro basically yeah uh you say the quiet mansion that is the mansion that um stands in the middle of the um of the sand of the uh, like a little piece of land like the sand pile Hi. of the river that flows through the center of where we met all of that describes yasuragi te that is Hi. what rasiyari te is we have a and bonus piece of information for it <laughs> washi no sumaida i live there Basically, it's my dwelling. It's my house. My my dwelling. My house. Oh, it's my house. It's Yasuragi Te. It's my house. Hi, hi. Uh, but it used to be Ida. Abandoned. It used uh, to be Rusu. Rusu ni ite ita na. It was, it seems, or in a sense, it was I feel like he got not in a way he 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 said in um I don't know how to say it he, he if this like not a, wasn't here I think you'd have an easier time translating this. You should stay nah, that it's like, nah, it's kind of like saying to himself, talking yes. to himself. It is. That's you know, what nah, is. nah, it's it's exactly. pretty. Easy, huh? And then so, this ga so though talking... is however ga. However. Like However, demo. isn't it? However, I have not been time. sumuing there, right? It's my sumai, mm -hmm. but I have not sundated there for how long? 20 years it had been abandoned. So, so. Or empty. So, well, now I can okay. feel right. how nobody is so bitter about the, uh, the Dutch's not being more... Um, more concerning when when she write to him he doesn't mention about the fact that he was he was forced to leave his home for that long like brambi you're so rude brambi i it's my my house has been left alone for over 20 years you can't even mention that to me so rude so rude bad friend brambi <laughs> and it's a quiet home you know <laughs> also, it's a nice peaceful home uh, <laughs> I I felt so like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty Wait. sure uh 
where metro is basically prague <laughs> probably i mean the map of the map of prague looks just like it i'll i'll show you the picture later sounds good do you know what tatsuneru meant tatsuneru is tatsuneru. Um, he's reply he close it's actually kind of the opposite of replying sore doko he asked hi to ask he asked Perfect. he in, he he implore he um he implored exactly Perfect. You know what saegiru means? Saegiru. That's funny, I forgot. Oh, it's the first time seeing it. Saegiru is to interrupt. To interrupt. Saegiru to kind of say, hey, yeah, I'm talking. You're talking. Saegiru. Um, what is the oh. passive form of saegiru? Uh, it is a u verb. It's the verb that I do all the time. So, so. <laughs> Everybody interrupts. <laughs> it's our special it's talent. Good. It's uh... a. <laughs> what is I? Saegiru in the passive form. Rare. Saegirare. I think. Yes, you're right. Perfect. Just takes a second uh, for it to register it. in my brain. Um, do you remember how to read this verb? Mm, this is key. Hi, key, key. No key. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence from the book. Hokani. Sorry. Hokani mo. Ikitai koto ga atta no de. Uchi o hiragi kaketara. また眠りに遮られた。他にも、他 is the other, the other person. Or it's the other person as well. Um, so, hoka, I think we saw this earlier with hoka no koto, is other. So, hoka ni mo is including other. So, hoka ni mo kikitai koto is not saying two other people, but instead it's describing the koto that he kikitais. Kikitai. He wants to know. The thing the thing that he wants to know from the other party as well. Hi. He has ga, other things ga. he wants to ask. Because kiku can mean to ask. Or to listen to answers. Then. So this section said, um, despite, right, this no day is the however, despite having more things to ask towards the other side. So you got no de and no ni confused. No de is a lot like no da. It's like, because. it's kind of like because, like a very weak because. So because I have things I want to ask, I, kuchi o kiraki kaketa. Mm, main more important part is hiraku 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 Ooh, open huh? hi hiraku. you hiraki. just open hi you can ignore and the kake. this is a compound verb it's not really adding much here oh, but what is it when um, oh i open my mouth hi Mata Neburi ni Saegirareta. Once again, Neburi interrupted me. Perfect. Um, so this is the word we saw earlier, which ends with su. Do you know what it started with? Ru. Ru su. Hi, do su. Perfect. Do you know how to read this word? Seen it in the past. This word is uh, mu mu. No, it's impossible. It's uh, moody. 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 Perfect. So mu looks like that, and the 
looks like that. How do you read this word? Ryu. Ryu, correct. Ryu, reason. Perfect. But read this, this is word? not the other reason. Like, what other reason? another word for me. Ryu, Ryu. Doshite, like uh, why? Ryu is kind of the no, only no. like word that means reason. Um, Yue is a reason, but it's not really like reason. You don't use it the way you'd use Ryu. Ryu is like the noun reason, like I have a reason. Ryu ga aru. <laughs> so wait that. Uh, wake and yue go at the end of a sentence that is a reason. To kind of like mark reasoning. Like it marks like a logic exists, but it's not really meaning reason. It's like its own, it's almost more like a grammatical marker than like a word in itself. Like it, it kind of is a word. Mm kind of not it's like it's all it's it's weird um can you read this word for me okay izakasa is izakasa izakosa right izakosa this is complication izakosa so things get chaotic izakosa so this word for a reason starts with ri what did it end with you hi you you the long you can you do this for me um, you got nine, but I have no reason. However, Izakosa ga ikko ta ikko ikko ta complication has arise. Yeah, perfect. Okota. There was no reason, but a complication has arise. Perfect, perfect. This word started with ru. What did it end with? Su. How you do su? Perfect. Su. Um, I'm gonna skip that. Um, do you remember how to read this kanji? Um, <laughs> mushukashi. Yeah, very close. No, that's difficult. It's, um, mukashi. 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 Hi. So one Hi. mukashi. Mukashi. Oh, mukashi. One mukashi from. <laughs> okay. Um, let's let's go read the next thing that nobody says. Nobody said. Nagaku, rusu ni shite da. Ryu wa kiku na. Sono mukashi. Iza. Right. Here's that no da, just like no de, but if it was no de, it probably it start with no de. He, he emphasized this is the reason, no da, this is the answer with the reply. Basically, hi. so nagaku, the long absence. I would start with Ishiteta. view because we have a relative clause going on right here. Right. The cause, or not the cause, the reason for the long absence. What is Guna. Guna. So this wa right here is not subject marker wa. It is actually marking the object of the sentence. The subject of the sentence is omae or kan or the dorobo, kozo dorobo. So he's telling the dorobo to kikuna. Kuma, don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask what? <laughs> um, don't ask Ryu. Hi, hi, hi. Kuna. Yeah, Ryu, uh, don't ask. Um, oh, no. Um, mukashi. That's long ago. Right. Oh, yes. Um, it's gone. It's bygone. Right. That is, let it be bygones. <laughs> that long in the past. That that back then, maybe, is how I might translate that. If I had to pick a word. Iza iza ga atta Because it's complicated. Yeah. yeah. Complication had happened. 
I love don't, this phrase. Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm gonna use it for every occasion. <laughs> How old are you? Don't ask. Hey, go now. Long ago. <laughs> Complicated. So, so. How much money you make? Don't hey, ask. Long ago. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your birthday. You got... <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's our halfway point, so I'm gonna stop sharing and I'll see you real soon. <laughs>